Welcome back to another video. Today I am going to be covering how to make custom collision for custom props and static meshes. This is something I was actually working quite a long time on because I have certain items like this right here, the cracks in the Fauna Island, they will be implemented into the next update of Help the Island and the actual collision of them was really annoying because it was just a box so you had to like jump over them but if I now actually open them up inside of the editor you will now see that the actual collision is completely around them as it should be. As you can see right here, the collision is around it as best it can be. So let me show you how to do that. It is actually pretty simple. So we're going to do it. Let's quickly just get a character right here. Let's actually go to our static meshes folder and let's start with guff. So if we double click guff, as you can see, it will open up our guff. This is exactly what you want to do, but obviously with your prop or asset, you want to open up the static mesh. If you don't have a static mesh and you have a skeletal mesh, you can make it in to a static mesh by opening up the skeletal mesh by double clicking it. And as you can see at the very top here, you can click make static mesh. That'll make a static mesh of the actual skeletal mesh you have open. So once you've done that, as you can see, we have guff right here you want to go up to the top here and click on the collision and then you want to put click on any of these i'm just going to add the simple box which as you can see it adds a box around the guff but it doesn't cling to him so as you can see there's still collision where we don't want it to so what we're going to do down here we are just going to click apply and as you can see once it's applied it the collision has gone around guff a little bit better and that is basically the simple way to do it now if we quickly just clear collision and that will delete any collision but as you can see we have actually upped the hull count from the default is four we upped it let's up it to the max which is 64 if we now click apply you can now see that there is no collision between the arms and the body and also the legs, as you can see, it is now completely collided with the leg hitbox. There is still some collision where there shouldn't be on the head. So it is literally just about messing with these three actual boxes right here. So let's quickly just up this, let's say to 69,000. Apply that. As you can see, with that being about 69,000, it has now made the collision of Guff a lot more precise. You can see that the actual hitboxes around the ears is a lot better. The hitboxes around the arms is also a lot better and also the hitbox around the body is a lot better. So this is just something you have to mess with and as soon as you've got the settings you are happy with you just need to click apply and if you click default as you can see it reverts everything back to normal. Let's quickly just open up this doomsday device static mesh that I have right here. Once again if I remove collision so it removes all collision and then add a simple box collision and then click apply you will now see that it actually adds collision around it. Once again, adjusting these things right here will make it so it fits a bit more to the actual shape of the device. That is it for this video. That is as simple as it is to create custom collisions for static meshes. And then obviously you can upload the static mesh into a prop. And that is basically as simple as it is. But anyway, if you did enjoy this video, do leave a like and subscribe. And I guess I'll see you guys in another one very soon. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.